Dick, you and I have waited all year for this. It's the most exciting, action-packed two weeks in all of sports, and it tips off in today's game between the Grambling State Tigers and the Purdue Boilermakers. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Boilermakers are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for them tonight, Dick? Yeah, on a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. Number one, hand the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if you can get their big men in foul trouble. Secondly, make sure you eat up the boards. And finally, play solid fundamental defense. And don't get caught gambling. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. He's got a high post flasher. Trying to go inside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Oh. That basketball. The power forward handles the pass. Perfectly executed. <laughs> Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. For two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. They look to get it to the inside, trying to draw the foul. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. The small forward receives the ball. He buries the shot. Trying to feed inside. There's a double team waiting there. He attempts the three. That was nice. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Gave it up. Dumps it in. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Nice pass to the low block. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He goes to the line for the first time. He hits the first shot. Gets the second. Holland receives the pass. Williams picks up the foul. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what a motion, what an edge for the home team. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Nice little jam right there. The one hand jam and stuff. Little showtime. Little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he go? Looking for a good shot. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Holland handles the feed. We're going to move it around the perimeter. With a bucket. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting rod. On the dribble, gives it up. The crowd loves this young man. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Let's watch 
stretch of defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. And the ball goes out of play. Moving it around the perimeter. Adam in the low block, but opted against it. Definitely a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. First shot is good. Foul shot is not good. He pulls it down. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. They work the perimeter. He blocks the shot. The ball goes out of bounds. And a momentary look from three-point land. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. Hop, there's the rejection. And the ball goes out of bounds. man in high post for two perfectly executed that spin moves not going to work against this defense that's a no no baby defensive player beats him to the spot Nick I think there's a mismatch in the post this may be a good opportunity for them Brad both teams are looking to get something going here. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Pump fakes. Dumas fakes the shot. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Well, the game is really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Strips the ball. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. From the top of the key, Grambling State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Looks at a three. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Boy, terrible execution on offense. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. He shoots from left of the circle. That's good. Take a look right here.
great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Working it around the perimeter. Entry. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Look at that spacing. Gave it up. There's the trap. Kicks it out. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box, trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. From way outside. They'll work it around the arc in the paint. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The kick out. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. Gives it up. Poole comes up with it. Moving it around the perimeter. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. perimeter he uses the shot fake good job defensively they just won't give him any openings pressure in the basketball problem with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble well you got to get help because you got to see ball man that's essential when you play on there and you front it Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from the baseline. He buries it. the block they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Up and inside. 
They work the perimeter. He shoots from long range. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. Thanks, Aaron. Working it around the perimeter. Has a nice look at the basket. He looks for the bomb. Tickles a twine. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They had a shot block. He nails the bucket. For the bucket, drains it. And they get the turnover. And the jam. up for two. Perfectly executed. And a momentary look from three-point land. He hammers it home. Harm and foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He'll go to the line. Hits the first. He gets them both. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jump. There's a tough shot and one. He wanted that one, baby. He says you got to foul me harder than that. They'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. Working around the perimeter. The skip pass is picked off. Up fake. On the top of the key. Gets it to fall. That's a nice looking play right here. Two, drops the bucket despite the harm. They'll work it around the arc. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling out here and turns it over. For the bucket, and he scores it off the glass. Look at that 
Good try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen away. Here they go, into the break. Top of the circle, they're working around the perimeter. And there's a lazy pass, it's stolen away. Turnover, will it turn into two the other way? Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. They're working around the perimeter. Tries to get the D to bite. Now the high screen. He drains the bucket. He intercepts it. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. Tries a three. Off the rim and no good. Sinks it. Got to take some pride on a defensive end. Good job defensively with a long bomb. From the top of the circle. It's good. Two, perfectly executed. Oh, pounded up. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. Number two gets his first action tonight, Dick. You ask me, Brad, this kid could easily be a starter. Here's a double team. He attempts the trifecta. Knocks it down. Up and inside. There's a double team waiting there. Run him right at the screen. He makes the block. Great play to take that to the basket. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Fakes a jumper. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Shot clock is dead. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. At the half, the Boilermakers trail by five.
Purdue has turned the ball over a lot more than normal in that first half. They're very sloppy in moving the ball tonight. And as a result, turnovers are piling up like dirty laundry. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. The crowd really admires this young man. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. He comes away with it. Goes up for two. The Boilermakers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Daddy's on fire. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle too when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. The power forward with the ball. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. The center gets the ball. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Puts it up, looking for contact. Instead of giving him that, use a foul. Up and inside. Time to pick up the defense here now. The small forward gets the pass. Fakes the shot. He shoots from right of the circle. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Great defense. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows him to get the crease, the lane, the angle. Moving it around the perimeter. Way out on top and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They work it around the perimeter. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The Boilermakers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. On the outside. He shoots from long range. Way off target. He bombs from outside. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. The center takes the pass. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. I think they're trying to make a statement. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. 
The center takes the feed. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes in. away the pass. The Boilermakers have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. For the bucket, Purdue are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Looking for the foul. City that will always really negate any offense. Easy one. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Thinks about the shot. For two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Leans in. Oh, makes the finger roll. Takes the pass in the paint for the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. There's the fake. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. He quickly brings it up court. That was nice. On the inside. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. He shoots from the top of the circle, goes in. Gave it up. Gets the rejection. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes the shot out of the air. He gets the bucket. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. Let's it fly. No good. Outside jumper. He gets it to fall. Steals the ball. For two, he gets the shot to fall. That's seven on answer. They work the perimeter. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. an open guy in the post and went the other way. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Picks off 
off the pass. He may be in trouble here. Great pressure, great double team. He rejects it. Vicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Look at that spacing. Got a wide open look. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. Him of the ball. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Strips the ball. Oh, what a great job transition. Off the Got it. He was hit in midair, but he still laid the ball in. This kid can play, Brad. He goes as far to the rack as anybody out there. At the line. It's good. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Perfectly executed. The Big Ten Conference usually has some really competitive teams. Today. Well, you know, Brad, the Big Ten is known for their physical and bruising brand of basketball. Three, he gets the shot to fall. Steals the pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. I'll tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He wants a three. They're making a living right now at the three-point line. Let's see if they can keep this up for the remainder of the game. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. He misses the fadeaway. Gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. In and out. Finger roll. That's a 10 nothing run. See if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. For the deuce, contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. Stolen ball. into transition. Scores it, and he's fouled. So again, one opportunity here.
Harvey steps to the line for the first time. No doubt. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, what a turn of events down here on the sidelines. The coaches and the players, they are feeling the heat, the message from the bench, defensive stops, and do it now. Here's a spin down in the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move to the goal. Set that screen away. Doesn't go. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nessler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. They're working around the perimeter. High post screen, gonna use it. Fast break opportunity here. Jumps in. off the lazy pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He takes the shot. He hits it. And the ball goes out of play. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnovers. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Lays it in. The Tigers are behind by seven. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground hip. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Tries for two. Easy one. Dick, this crowd will go silly if they can get some points this trip. Jumped in front to take it away. For the bucket. Up. Easy one. For two. Two with a lay-in. The Boilermakers will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. He attempts to jump hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Intercepted. Absolute mayhem. This place will be in disarray, Dick, if they can get a stop. perimeter defensively doing a great job down there and he's winning that battle Dick I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out and that's how he's winning that battle executes the baby hook 
I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Picked off. Gave it up. Tries for two. Grambling State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Looking for a good shot. Steal. For the bucket. Finger roll. things around here for the moment Dick. I don't think so but we'll wait and see Brad takes away the pass on the dribble gives it up pass down low there's a drop step and oh good defense I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot very poor job with the drop step very slow See if they can get a good shot this trip. He takes it away. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. team now bad angle he shoots from outside he drains the shot they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass isolated on the outside they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper on the outside Tight D here. Up and inside. Ten on the shot clock. They work the perimeter. Moving it around the perimeter. Cross court. There's a shot clock violation. They ran out of time because they made him think twice about where the ball should be passed. Made him think three or four times, if you ask me. for some encouragement. I guess he feels that this defensive possession is a big one. I think the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Well, Mr. Vitell, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, then the stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. With the free throw. He makes the front end of the one and one. Second one, good. And timeout. Let's go back out onto the floor. 
floor. Runs him first hit and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Rims out. They're not getting the balls to fall from the line. Hey, if I were the coach of this team, I would make them run so many lines, I would pass out from watching them run, Brad. I could watch that one again all night long. And yet another foul. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. Gets his second. Seven points right now is the difference in this one. Hey, Brad, seven points is no safe haven. You got to keep pressing. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Pushes it up. Dick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, I tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Grambling State is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey, keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the hardwood for their second round game. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.